How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Your old pal Baba Ganoush here coming at you once again with another fantastic video here today. So I hope you're all staying safe and secure inside your homes during these crazy times. I know things are nuts. I know we're all getting a little bit of cabin fever, but let's do what we can to stay indoors. Keep our distance from each other until this all really kind of starts subsiding and gets under control here. Uh, certainly big thing I want to say is, you know, my heart goes out to all of our nurses, doctors, our first responders. You know, once again, you guys are all coming to the front lines um, and really putting your own well-being at risk um, and really thinking of everybody else before thinking of yourselves. So thank you all so, so much. Um, just can't say enough about it. And uh, just my heart goes out to all of you. So please, please do what you can to stay safe out there. Now on to the point of the video here today, I want to talk about my cook system in particular. We're heading into some warmer weather. Once all this crazy craziness ends, I know we're going to be getting, everybody's going to be getting out and about and going hiking and backpacking and camping. So I thought it'd be a great time to go over my cook system. Um, it's, it's evolved quite a bit over the number of years, but I have it down to a nice lightweight package set that I find to be very efficient for what my needs are going to be. So pull up a chair, grab a notebook, let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, everybody, like I said, today we're going to talk about my cook set. Uh, what I like about it, I'm going to give you guys all the weights and descriptions of everything uh, down below as well. And if you look in the description, I'm going to do my best to put links to all these things. Uh, just in case you are interested, you can do some of your own research uh, a little bit further there. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the number one thing that we're going to talk about here today uh, is going to be my cook pot. Uh, this is the MSR Titan Kettle. Uh, this is a titanium cook pot. What I love about it, it's, a, it's about 0.8 of a liter, so really, really nice volume size. I can do not only um, my, my breakfast or my dinner, but I can also do my morning coffee um, or evening decaf coffee, I guess. Um, you know, just a really good volume size, really, really nice and lightweight and compact. And being that it's titanium, it obviously is going to transfer the heat very quickly from my stove. So it's boiling time efficiency jumps up tremendously. Now I do have actually a koozie that I have for it. Um, and it has a little slot just for the handle and it just basically slides in just like that. I use this combination on my Appalachian Trail through hike and it performed beautifully. Uh, but you know, certainly I do have a koozie for it so I can just pour my water, put my food into there, you know, put the cap on and just let everything kind of sit inside, simmer and cook all by itself. Uh, great way to kind of help save fuel. Now when it comes to the weight of everything, the kettle all by itself, and this is going off the scale that I have here at home, uh, the kettle all by itself is coming in at 4.3 ounces. So incredibly lightweight at only 4.3 ounces for basically, I think it's like a 0.75 or a 0.8 liter cook pot on there. So really nice high volume at only 4.3 ounces. So really, really nice and lightweight. When you do add the koozie to it, it does jump up in weight slightly. Um, I believe it jumps up by, only by about an ounce and a half. So it's only about 5.8 ounces overall with the koozie system as well. Now I do have a little uh, koozie lid to go up on top of there that kind of hooks on with the handle. Uh, I just left that off to the side for the time being uh, because I wanted you guys to see what this thing is all about. So Titan Kettle with the koozie and everything at only 5.8 ounces. Now here with the Titan Kettle, uh, it does give you just simple, nice lightweight handles here. There is no coating on the handles at all. So definitely be careful when you do go to pick this thing up. What I typically do is I'll have like a microfiber towel. Um, if I have my gloves with me, that's always coming in handy. Or I'll just let it sit and cool down for about 10, 15 seconds before I just go ahead and grab the handle. Uh, just be cautioned, it is titanium, it heats up so quickly, so these handles do get very, very hot. The top lid, uh, it's just a simple, nice, lightweight lid. It does have a uh, little breathable uh, steam hole there. The handle for the lid is covered in that nice silicone cover, and it does, does actually have a little spout uh, built into the lid as well. So it's nice when I am pouring my water and whatnot into you know, some of the, um, uh, some of the pre-cooked meal bags. Uh, it's nice where it actually does have a spout. So, and I do have a little bit more of a controlled pour. Uh, you know, this thing served me really well on my Appalachian Trail through hike. 
you know, having the extra volume certainly does come in handy just so you can cook, you know, boil up a larger quantity of water if you really had to. Um, if I absolutely do have to boil water in an instance, at least I do have something of a higher volume rather than just a simple like two cup mug kind of deal. Um, so I've been really happy with it. Really nice and lightweight. One of the lighter weight options that you're even going to find on the entire market. So for especially less, um, uh, you know, such a good volume capacity for such a nice lightweight package really can't go wrong. Okay, and let's let's move on here today. Let's just move on. So now I am the kind of person who does like to carry a stove with me. Even during the summer months, I like to have a hot meal at the end of the day. Just, it, it's more of a comfort thing for me. Um, I, I just, I've tried cold soaking food. It's just not for me, unfortunately. Um, it's just something mentally wise, having a hot cooked meal at the end of the day. So I do like actually carrying a stove. So in that regard, I have carried the MSR Pocket Rocket for the last, geez, three, four, five years or so. I can't even remember. I've carried this thing for quite some time. I do really enjoy it. It is what I love about it. It is pretty nice and lightweight. The stove by itself is three ounces with the carrying case. It jumps up to four ounces. So it is pretty nice and lightweight. But I love just the simplicity of the design. You know, the arms or the legs pop out. It does actually have your regulator here and everything as well. So I have always enjoyed just the simplistic nature of the Pocket Rocket design. Yes, I know, I've had this for a while. This is the original design. I know they've made some improvements, but it's done well for me. However, I'm trying to go a little bit lighter weight. I'm trying to drop as much weight as I can, especially with the Pacific Crest Trail uh, in just a couple years, the near future. I'm really doing what I can just to simplify light, you know, try to go lighter weight, simplify my system, streamline my system. So, so I was looking for something, still I want a stove, but I want something a little bit lighter weight. This here is the King Summit, really ultra light titanium stove. Uh, I know, I'm sure you're, a lot of you are familiar with those Soto stoves, those really ultra light titanium stoves that weigh less than an ounce. This is basically a company <laughs> basically creating the exact same stove. Um, it's just a company called King Summit. So really, really nice lightweight stove. I just got this thing. I have yet to even use it, uh, but thus far with just how lightweight this stove is going to be for me, I am very, very excited to try it out. As you can see, this thing is so brand new. I still have to get used to how to kind of move the legs up into place. Ah, there we go, there we go, I got it, I got it, I figured it out, all right. So, really nice and simple, as you can see, it is pretty nice and lightweight, just to give you guys an idea behind my hand here, really nice and lightweight there for you. Uh, it does have your built-in regulator and everything as well. Um, just really nice and lightweight. This thing, with the stuff sack, comes in at 0.9 ounces. I think it's like 0.95 ounces. So less than an ounce for this whole stove. That's a three ounce savings from updating from my uh, MSR Pocket Rocket. Uh, so especially trying to go a little bit light, lighter weight, a little bit more simplified to get a three ounce savings with just upgrading a stove. I cannot go wrong with that. I have yet to test this thing out, so I hopefully once the stuff ends, sooner rather than later, I'll be able to get out on the trail and really kind of test it out, test the boil times, and do a nice thorough review of the stove itself. So the legs do kind of collapse down. Um, the regulator arm even collapses down and everything as well. This thing is just really nice and compact, really nice and lightweight. You can see just how small and how nice and light this thing really, really is. So I'm going to be really thrilled to add this to my system. Now, of course, you got to eat. You know, we're not Neanderthals here trying to eat with our hands and just scoop it all in with our hands. Uh, so you got to eat. You got to have your utensils. This is the Sea to Summit long-handled spoon. It's made out of, I think, uh, aluminum. It's like airplane material aluminum. I have no idea. So it's just really, really nice and lightweight. Um, yeah, long handle spoon. I got that because it's a little bit easier, you know, digging into the, the uh, uh, yeah, the freeze dried meals, the uh, dehydrated meals, that sort of thing. So you're not scraping your knuckles all day long. Um, just, yeah, really, really nice. Nothing too much I can say about it. This thing only weighs 0.4 ounces. So especially really nice and lightweight. They do have titanium options. Um, but I'm really not having that much of a, a weight savings for going with the titanium option. Uh, this thing has stuck with me 
through some crazy times, Georgia to Maine, and I look forward to taking it uh, from Mexico to Canada on my PCT through hike. So, Sea to Summit, long handled, long handed spoon. It does come in a spork model, but I prefer the spoon model, especially as good for digging into kind of the corners and really scraping along the corners in the bottom of your uh, pre cooked um, or your dehydrated meals kind of thing. So, definitely get yourself a long handled spoon. To go along with that setup, I'm also going to include just a simple microfiber towel and of course a little tiny mess stuff sack to house everything. Um, now the microfiber towel, this is kind of twofold, is to clean out the interior of the pot. Once I do clean out and rinse everything out, just basically to help dry everything out and get everything out of there. Um, and then of course when I kind of compartmentalize everything. I'll put the fuel canister inside here just so it doesn't rattle around or scrape up the interior of my cook pot itself. So the microfiber towel kind of acts as twofold as uh, you know cleaning and drying everything off as well as creating kind of an abrasion resistant buffer uh, for you know housing everything inside my cook pot. Mess stuff sack as well. Uh, this I actually got off of, it says Sawyer on there. Yeah, I actually got this off of my water filter kit uh, the original mess stuff sack that I had for that system completely just died on me on my through hike. Uh, so when I, I called for my parents to send me this, <laughs> um, and this has kind of served its purpose ever since. Just a simple mess stuff sack, nothing flashy about it, but I can put my cook pot, put my microfiber towel, and there's still plenty of room for more on there. Um, this guy only weighs not even a half an ounce, uh, 0.4 ounces kind of thing. Microfiber towel weighs 1.3 ounces. Um, so yeah, can't go wrong. Yeah, just to finish off the whole system kind of thing. Yeah, it's nice. So as I just said before, I use the microfiber towel to one, you know, wipe everything out, but then I also use it all to, um, you know, put my fuel canister and put everything inside the cook pot. Um, now when it comes to that sort of stuff, uh, let me grab this here for you. So obviously you have a couple different fuel canister sizes. When I choose the little tiny guys, the uh, the seven and a half ounce canisters, this one, when I put everything in, I can actually fit my stove and everything inside there, which is kind of nice. Uh, when I use the larger size fuel canisters, the 13 ounce, this, I can only put one canister in my cook pot by itself and the stove has to stay on the outside of the cook pot. Not a big deal. That stove is so nice and small and lightweight, it doesn't really make a difference to me. But that being said, I do like uh, the fact that I can put everything into the cook pot all in one. Uh, so basically, I'll just take my microfiber towel, put it all together like this, kind of wrap it up. Yeah, let me get my cook pot. Put everything right in here. Um, and then I'll put the little stove inside here for you. Uh, lid then can go right up on top. Yeah. Try to do this on the spot here for you guys. Okay, got it all there, and voila! So as you can see, I was able to fit my stove, uh, the fuel canister. Ooh, I can fit one more thing in here. I almost forgot. Ah, obviously, you need to light everything. Here's just the baby, baby little Bic lighters. Let me, let me drop that on in there for you. And yeah, that all fits in there now. Nice and tight, nice and snug. Um, it's great where it can all can, kind of compact down, compartmentalize down, and that's just gonna help me save extra space inside my cook pot. So nice and simple. Now, occasionally there is one more item that I do like to bring with me when I go backpacking. It's kind of hit or miss whether I wanna bring it or not, but I do certainly like having it in the event where I do need to actually scoop water out of like a low lying puddle or something. This is just one of those Sea to Summit collapsible cups. It's nice and simple, it's nice and lightweight. Um, I know the lines on the inside here are also supposed to help with water measurement uh, to make sure you get your cooking water proper, but I kind of figured out how much I need inside the cook pot anyway. Um, so I use this again primarily if I have to scoop water out of like a low-lying water source, but it's also great to where I can have my breakfast um, in the cook pot if I wanted to, and then I can have my morning coffee right in here because of course your coffee is something very essential. I need my morning coffee. Uh, so it's nice to where I can kind of have that option and have that flexibility. It's, it all just collapses down, so it collapses down next to nothing. This thing weighs only 1.3 ounces, uh, so really only adds less than an ounce and a half of weight to my system entirely, but 
Eh, sometimes I feel like bringing it with me. Sometimes I don't. It depends on the time of year, really. Okay, everybody, so that is my cook system. When it comes to the total weight of everything, I got two different weights here for you. Because like I said, I do like to sometimes bring that to the Summit mug. Uh, so when it comes to the first weight, the ultra light, the lightest weight that I can go with it, uh, you're looking at 8.7 ounces. That 8.7 ounces includes my cook pot. It also includes my stove. It includes the long-handled fork or long-handled spoon, of course. Spoon. The stuff sack. And also the microfiber towel. So I'm not including the lighter or the fuel because those are expendables. Uh, so that is always kind of getting changed out. So when it comes to the base set of everything that I'm going to primarily carry, everything that you see here, 8.7 ounces. So really, really nice and lightweight there for you. When I add the Sea to Summit cup, of course, you're going to jump up by 1.3 ounces. Or I'm sorry, 1.4 ounces, excuse me. So that brings the combined weight adding the mug to 10.1 ounces. A really nice and lightweight, complete system. Again, this is not adding fuel or the Bic lighter that you see there. So as you can see, this all does compartmentalize and fit inside there. Obviously, I don't have the the, uh, the mesh stack for it because this goes inside the mesh stuff sack. Uh, but it's all great where it compacts down nice and small. Even that little collapsible mug is inside here as well. So this entire thing right here, 10.1 ounces. Take that Sea to Summit mug out of there. You're at just over eight and a half ounces for this combined set. Well, well, of course, let me let me add the spoon to it but I can't fit the spoon inside of here. So this kind of goes on the outside of my backpack, but hey, that's neither here nor there. So, okay, everybody, uh, yeah, that is my cook sit. That is the complete entire kit that you see here today. Something that I've worked really well on for the last number of years, kind of fine tuning it a little bit there. And I'm sure years down the road, I'll find some way to make this even lighter weight somehow. I do know that I need to make a new koozie. I have not made one since I've gotten off trail. Uh, my AT through hike, this is still the same koozie that I went from Georgia to Maine with. Um, and it might be time for a new one. I have noticed it's just not working as well as it used to. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching another fantastic video here today. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and secure at home. Be sure to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video, if you have any questions, any comments, and as well, I, I would love to hear about your own cook systems. Leave them in the comments below, please. Uh, thank you all so much. Have a great one. See you on the next video. Baba Ganoush, out.